Hello, this is Poor Nielsen with Random Artac, and today we're looking at the build modifier. So as you see, I just clicked the build modifier and it got rid of Suzanne because what the build modifier does is it takes an object and as you hit play on the timeline, it'll actually build it. So our start is starting at frame one and we will end at frame 100. So if you go down here and change this to 100 and then hit play, you'll see that Suzanne starts to build like this. Now, that's kind of an interesting thing, but I've honestly never used this in a production line. I'll try and talk about some of the things that we'll do and, and how it's used. So if you make a cube like this, the build modifier basically builds off of the first ver vertices that you made and then it goes towards the last vertices. So as I just make this shape right here, it will actually go in the order that I'm building like this. So let's go ahead and add a modifier build. And then, yep, start. Oh, we need to scroll that back down to zero. And you can see that it'll build in the order that we went. So I'm just going to hit play. And you can see. Now if you want to go faster, you can change the length. So instead of 100 frames, change it down to 10 frames. And you can see that it just goes faster. So how would I might how might I use this? Well, if I need to do like some sort of writing, I could do that. Or if you wanted to actually add particles to this, you could actually kind of have grass or vines growing in this order. Now let's go ahead and look at the last thing. It's the randomize. So I just created Suzanne there. And you can see how that ignores all the different vertices or the, the vertice order. And so that's kind of cool. You, you could get a almost a techno looking effect as something materializes. But again, it's for video games, not a really productive thing. And then you can also change the seed right there. And that's pretty much the build modifier. Let's kind of look at a few things that we, we can do. If you hit uh, tab in, then hit spacebar and hit sort mesh elements, you can actually sort these vertices based on different things. So let's go ahead and click this. Um, let's go with cursor distance. Now this will basically start building from the vertices that are closest to the cursor. So the cursor's right there. So I'm gonna go cursor distance and it's kind of finicky. I, I just need to click around for some reason and actually hit play. I hit play while tabbed in, and now let's see if it works. Oh, I need to turn off randomize, and I just have to do it all again. So sort, cursor distance, and you can kind of click around those. All right, and you can see that it's working. So it's working away from the cursor like that, and then it's just kind of building. So this might be useful in doing something like a tree where the leaves are, are coming into bloom in the middle of spring, time lapse, stuff like that. There's a lot of different options. The Z axis, the X axis, that kind of does what you think it would do. So it's going to start the um, negative Zs and then build towards positive Zs. X axis, same thing, but in the X direction. So we're going to go ahead and try this. Now again, you have to try this, hit play. Oh, and you can see that it's working. So it's kind of going from Zs and it's actually like, it might be oriented where it looks like it's doing the Y axis. So there's some strangeness to it. You can play around with it. Um, material is an interesting one too. What this does is it'll actually take the material that you assign first and it'll build that thing. And then it'll take the material that you assign second and apply that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in the order. So I'm just going to apply this, create a new one, assign it, and then hide create a new one. And so it should go material one, material two, material three. And if you want a different order, you can change this. Now, this isn't going to work exactly because it already has the Z axis. And so it's like trying to put, it's trying to use both of them. So it's better to kind of just plan ahead. So you can see it kind of works, kind of. Actually, that's working because it went through. That makes sense. So it is just doing the parts that we had the materials done for first. And so, again, this isn't a really useful um, modifier, but I did want to know what it d does. So I kind of went into it and saw, if you see a different application that works in your workflow, power to you, right? Um, right here, all I'm doing is kind of playing around with the arrays just to show you some fun things. Uh, a little vert visual visualization. So I have three arrays going, and then I'm just going to build these. Um, and so that's it for the build modifier. The next one we're going to do is the decimate modifier. It's an extremely useful modifier, especially in video games. Um, I use it to create uh, different levels of detail. So as you get closer or farther away from the, the, the camera. And that's actually kind of cool looking right there, right? Where it's, it's building kind of in an orderly manner. You can see this when you're like trying to populate like a, a city or something like that. 
So thanks again for watching this. I, I hope that was helpful and informative. Feel free to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That does help us. And also consider uh, supporting us on Patreon. You do get access to uh, some Unity files and when applicable, some Blender uh, files and tutorial files and stuff like that. Also, uh, feel free to follow us on Twitter and other social media such as Facebook and communicate with us. We love hearing from you guys. Have an awesome day and thanks so much.